Hi, welcome to Your Future, Your Finances. Thanks for watching the show. Today we're talking with Al Redmer, the Maryland Insurance Commissioner. Al, thanks for coming hey, on. Hey, Brian, show. thanks for having me. I appreciate it. I want to read a little of your bio to make sure I don't forget anything, and it's a uh, it's a great bio. Previously served as the commissioner from uh, June of 2003 until 2005. Also a former member of the Maryland General Assembly. Uh, managed Redmer Insurance Group and Financial Group. Uh, also had a 13-year tenure with the General Assembly representing Baltimore County and two years as the uh, House Minority Leader, among another th a variety of other things. So I'm a has-been on multiple levels. <laughs> <laughs> Done quite a few impressive things. Happy to have you on the show. It's great to be here. Thanks. So you uh, are the Maryland Insurance Commissioner running the Maryland Insurance Administration. What does the Maryland Insurance Administration do? We, we are the state agency that is there for Maryland consumers, uh, and we, uh, we regulate the insurance industry, and that's our way of protecting the, uh, the consumer. We do it in a number of ways. Mm -hmm. You know, Brian, as, as you know, an insurance policy is a, a contract between the uh, purchaser and the insurance carrier, and that that contract is a promise to pay mm -hmm. uh, an amount of money when something bad happens. And uh, we have a team of financial experts, and they spend their time in the insurance company offices going through the books. Hmm. And our, our role is to make sure that the carriers are putting away enough money to guarantee to pay those promises when they come due. So the financial regulation of carriers is something that we, uh, we spend a lot of time doing. Mm -hmm. We also have a life and health department and a property and casualty department. They both do the same things with different policies. So before a policy can be sold, we have to look at it and approve it to make sure that it complies with Maryland law. Same thing with rates. Uh, a carrier will propose rates we review them and make sure that they comply with Maryland law, which means that they are not excessive, uh, they are not inadequate, nor are they unfairly uh, discriminatory. Mm -hmm. Also, what's interesting is uh, we, uh, in addition to the, the financial solvency, we also go in and look at the business activities of insurance carriers to make sure that their, their business activities, their marketing and so on, their claims payment, uh, are appropriate and that they comply with law. Mm -hmm. uh, we do the same thing with producers. We uh, make sure that the producers out there are not violating the law nor taking advantage of anybody. And uh, for those folks that cross over the line from engaging in inappropriate activity to illegal activity, uh, we have a, a, a fraud division. Mm. Uh, these are folks, mostly retired police officers. We have forensic officers. Uh, members of the state police and lawyers from the attorney general's office and their role is to uh, identify, to investigate and prosecute uh, fraudulent criminal activity. So we've got a lot of talented folks that spend a lot of time uh, whose sole purpose in life is to protect consumers with respect to insurance. Mm -hmm. And all things I'm sure the consumer appreciates are happening, but from their perspective, cost uh, and sure. insurance is a big one. So what would you suggest someone do in order to save money on insurance? You know, the, the most important thing is to uh, contact a trained professional that can help you walk through, uh, first off, what it is that, that you need. You know, when folks shop their car insurance, as an example, oftentimes they, they give their policy to a different broker mm -hmm. who looks at the coverage and quotes that same coverage with other carriers. That may or may not be the appropriate level of coverage that they actually need. So the first thing to do is to educate yourself uh, to make sure you know what kind of coverage you need, and then you can go about shopping uh, that coverage to make sure you don't have too much nor too little, uh, but get it in the most uh, cost-effective way possible. Mm -hmm. So uh, someone has this insurance and then there's a claim. What, what should someone do if they think their insurance company didn't pay a claim uh, properly? Sure. Uh, you know, that's one of the things that, that our folks spend a lot of time doing. So we get thousands and thousands of consumer complaints a year. My claim wasn't paid. The claim, uh, they didn't give me enough money for my Buick. Uh, the, um, uh, the doctor recommended a medical procedure. They won't pay for it. So we have investigators, and when we get a complaint, our investigator will contact the insurance company, 
go through all of the, uh, the information that is necessary, and we will make a determination, was the insurance carrier acting appropriately uh, or not? And if we find that a claim was not paid but it should have been, we've got a lot of tools at our disposal, including the tools where we can make carriers pay claims that they don't want. Now, another interaction I think consumers can have with insurance is they'll get a letter saying the premiums are changing, they're going up, uh, or their coverage is being canceled. Mm -hmm. uh, what about in those cases? What can they do? You know, that's, uh, that's another area where we may be able to help. Uh, so, a again, if they, if they contact our office, they file a complaint, we've got the ability to backtrack to make sure that those claims were paid appropriately. Mm -hmm make sure that if a, a policy has been canceled, as an example, that that has been done appropriately. If not, we've got tools at our disposal. We can make them keep a policy that they want to cancel. We can make them rescind a price increase if they did it outside of the, uh, uh, the, the rates that were approved. We've got a lot of tools at our disposal. Now, I, I always encourage, again, that their first stop should be either contacting the carrier mm -hmm. or uh, maybe the uh, producer, the broker uh, that represents them because they can do a lot of these, uh, these same things. In a claim, for example, I have found that oftentimes a, a claim is maybe denied mm -hmm. or they don't provide the amount that the, that the consumer wants. And oftentimes it's because the initial decision was made by somebody that may, may be newer mm -hmm. uh, without a lot of experience mm -hmm. and maybe somebody with a different set of eyes with a little bit more experience might make a different uh, determination. So oftentimes it's a matter you just need somebody else to look at it and somebody at the carrier level or your broker can, uh, can also help with that. Okay, great. Great stuff. We're going to take a break. We're talking with Maryland Insurance Commissioner Al Redmer, uh, talking about insurance protection and costs. Uh, lots more to come. We'll be right back. You're watching Your Future, Your Finances.